Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Now turning to a national weather alert. Southerners are at risk of more severe weather. This less than 48 hours after a deadly system hit several states. A devastating tornado struck Mississippi late Friday night, killing more than two dozen people. The storm wind hit speeds up to 170 miles an hour. It lasted less than 20 seconds, but it caused massive destruction and loss. One person who lost her mother says tornadoes are rare in the area. Normally when the tornado comes through, it never touches down here in Roller Fork. So for it to actually touch down and just rip our town apart, it is uh, unbelievable. President Biden has declared a disaster here in Mississippi, unlocking federal funds for recovery. Meanwhile, the state on alert once again for more storms moving through tonight. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast. Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. All right, checking back in on our weather a little bit closer to home on your pinpoint weather forecast. Now, Nate, we've had our own, definitely on a smaller scale, but our own bit of a storm here today and this weekend. Yeah, it makes it hard to complain about snow, right? Mm -hmm. Or record snow when you see devastation like that. Hey, uh, yeah, more snow up in the mountains. Some shots that could Alta today, not a lot of new snow reported, but snowflakes were coming down. Chloe Jimenez uh, captured this uh, photo up at Alta at a couple of inches in the last uh, 24 hours, but they're again continuing to set new records each day. We add more snow, 753 inches now being reported uh, for their record books, beating the previous uh, long-standing record from 1981-82 year, 748 inches. Uh, we had a couple of places with some decent snowfall this morning. Uh, 24 hour totals at Snow Basin are. 21 inches. They had 11 inches, though, just overnight from the last 12 hours. Powder Mountain 10, Brighton 7, 3 at Beaver Mountain, Deer Valley just 2 inches. So may, uh, mostly a northern uh, Wasatch for, uh, range storm system with what moisture did come through. West Weber had 5.3 inches, so some of the Wasatch front did pretty well as well. Brigham City 4.5, Bountiful Bench, Clinton 4 inches. Logan had 3 inches of snowfall. Uh, again, these were the reports that came in around lunchtime. We're seeing additional scattered showers. This is a live look at Enzyme Peak. You can see some of those darker clouds. We are seeing some snow showers. In fact, we have a line of snow or a band of snow that's moving through, generating some moderate snow shower activity. It's moving through at least portions of Weber County, Box Elder County into Davis County, starting to move through uh, the western part of the uh, Davis County area. So Syracuse, Clinton, West Point, West Haven seeing some snow. I mentioned some winter weather advisories, not for the mountain areas, but this is for the northern Wasatch Front and Salt Lake County goes into effect uh, again tonight night at 9 o'clock through 10 o'clock Monday morning. This is for lake effect snow. Generally, 1 to 3 inches are expected, but areas that get lake effect bands that set up and maybe uh, stay fairly stationary for a time could see 3 to 6 inches. We are expecting impacts to the Monday morning drive due to that lake, en lake enhanced or lake effect snow shower activity that's going to set up. So into the evening hours, we'll continue to see periods of rain and snow across the southern part of the state, up north as well, of course, filling in across the Wasatch Front. Plan on that northwest flow picking up and kicking up up those snow showers with really cold air moving into the upper elevations or the higher elevations and that's why we're seeing lake effect snow. The lake's not that warm but the air is just so cold it is creating that lift across the lake as it moves over and it's going to continue to generate some of those shower activity as well. So plan on again some additional moisture into tomorrow. We will see not a lot of accumulation statewide but again primarily the northern part of the state will see the best chance of that. St. George 55 on Monday mostly sunny again on Tuesday we do get up to the 60s. We drop again though with another storm Wednesday, Thursday. Should be a good snowmaker for the mountains. Scattered snow, 40 for the high on Monday. 52 on Tuesday. Should feel a little more spring-like Tuesday, Wednesday. Another system though bringing rain and snow showers Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Should be another atmosphere.